mods video the first mod that we got here is a long awaited one it definitely was needed because this bitch was rusty and raggedy as hell this is loving Kate very much needed like I said she looks a whole hell of a lot better and to add just a little bit more onto there we got the busty 7.1 again and like I said she just looks so much better than that rusty piece of shit she was before definitely looking good looking hot all right guys I was a very much awaited uh, long awaited one well well needed so uh, give me one second I'll be back with the next mod next mod brings Skyrim shouts into Fallout 4 this is my favorite one here it never gets old <laughs> unrelenting force as you can see it flings them uh, across the map and we got fireball or fire breath we got the ice for our ice frost or something like that and like I said never gets old so <laughs> it's funny as hell and it's fairly easy it was actually really easy to use <laughs> oh my god this is so great let's do this one more time come on oh my god oh my god it's fucking great but anyway like I said it's very easy to use all you do is you download the mod you go into your pit boy and then you go under inventory and the aid and you will see all of them right here now how you use them is easy you just hit uh, whatever button it is to put into your favorites uh, for example PC is Q so there we go we're gonna put it under three under our favorites so now you just go into your game press three and bang say goodbye <laughs> so all right guys um definitely that's definitely worth checking out you guys so um on to the next mod all right guys this next mod is called mk14 ebr it's uh like an assault rifle slash sniper rifle it's beautifully beautifully detailed um it's a great weapon. I, I very much like it a lot. It uh, it works great, and there is a bunch of different attachments. Um, here, I'll show you real quick. Oops. A little bit to put a better scope on it, longer barrel, and I increased the uh, damage by 80%, which I didn't know you could do. It's fucking awesome. So if you like a sniper rifle slash. Um, assault rifle I mean this is definitely a sweet 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 gun because um, I definitely love assault rifles and I definitely love sniper rifles so yeah it's it's fucking sweet let me show you some of the mods because this this weapon mod here or this weapon here has some beautiful beautiful mods um, in-game mods so let me show you is up close and personal um, like I said, very detailed. It's very beautiful gun. Um, just many different options you can go with. You have all kinds of things here. This is a lower level game, so I can still go up to the advanced receiver. Um, I have the long barrel. There's a bunch of different scopes on here. Um, I'm going to try this one here because, like I said, I do like assault rifles, you know, and not uh, sniper rifles all the time. So, I don't know, oh, that must be some emblems there, but there's, see, you can, you can deduct the recoil, you can up the damage, um, you get add a flashlight on there, uh, does it work, I don't know, um, uh, that might be something that only works with, um, Nexus mods, you know, but, um, yeah, it's very cool, here, let me show you, okay, here we go, this, I like to, because you can have like the one the attachable one so yeah I mean look at this shit man oh, where to go that is fucking beautiful that is so beautiful so let's go out and let's check it out now I mean that is fucking great because I love assault rifles you know what I mean you don't necessarily need uh, fully auto either so 
Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, this is fucking great. Oh, really? There we go. I mean, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful gun. So detailed. So. Alright, guys. Um, oh, man, that is nice. And here's another really cool feature in the assault rifle. One of my favorites. It has a flashlight on it, a working flashlight on it. I didn't think it, it did, but it definitely does. And it's sweet as hell. I love it. Next mod here is everybody's favorite sniper rifle, the Dragonov. Um, it is found on raiders bodies and, you know you can find it when they, they drop it when they die and another thing i want to point out too the last weapon is found behind nat at public occurrences it's just sitting there against the wall the the last uh the mk14 so i forgot to say that but that's where it is and it's very easy to get and there's like two other spots for it you can just look in the description for that particular mod but where the easiest place to find it is right behind that so anyway here we go with the dragon of there's not many different things you could do to it you can add a bipod to it you can change the color of the receiver you can add three different scopes and plus standard sights and a suppressor so um yeah but that's about it uh, just keep in mind, guys, my character uh, build is not very good with rifles. So, Something's you know what I mean? It's going to be very bad um, or low damage. So, But, I mean, it's just a cool rifle to have. Oh my god, that's horrible. But, uh, like I said, my character build is not very good. So, um, you know, it's very low damage. But anyway... It's still pretty cool, especially in you know end game when you um, when you have your uh, um, higher stats and all that, and you can just blow them away in one shot. So um, definitely pretty cool to check out. So um, thank you guys, and stay tuned for the next mod. All right, guys, here's the next mod. This is called the Punisher Combat Armor, and it's basically just a textured kit with um punisher decals on it and black uh combat body armor i think it looks really fucking sweet though i like it a lot it has the the black helmet the bandana and then armor obviously with the um the emblem on it and it can be found in the dugout right when you walk in on the left hand side you'll see a metal box there and another easier way of getting it is just go to a chemistry well that's probably the easiest but another way of getting it is go with the chemistry station and you can actually craft it under utilities and this is just like the light armor setup right here in here i have kate with the heavy combat armor on or sturdy or heavy one of the two and it's it's a cool look you know what i mean i, I definitely like it i can dig it uh, I like the lighter body armor better though. I just think it looks better. This is probably safer, but I think the other stuff looks better. So it's just a quick, simple mod. Uh, definitely worth checking out though, guys. This next mod is the Vim Cola Pip Boy theme. It's very nice, very, very detailed. I like it a whole lot, as you can see. Like uh, the other ones, it has the decal for Vim Cola on the top, and it's a nice, uh, like lime green color. You got the little Vim logo there, and you got it right there. Refresh, uh, very nice. You got the background there. You've got Vim. Um, I like it a lot. I do. The only thing I do not like about it is it's going to be hard to match that with anything, any outfit at all. I think personally. Uh, but like I said, i definitely going to wear it for a little bit. I like it. It looks really cool. Uh, it's just unfortunate there's not much to match it with. Um, I don't know if maybe there would be another color that could go with Vim. I think there is like a light blue. You might be able to match out with something. But um, definitely looks cool. You know what I mean? Definitely like it. Check it out. This next mod is called the Minutemen Cash. And supply cache and they're going to be scattered all over the commonwealth uh, as you can see and there's what it looks like it has its own marker um, now what it is is it's just a um, like a little 
supply area for the Minutemen soldiers and some of them are guarded by Minutemen if you're good with them uh, obviously you'll be able to get the stuff as you can see and you'll um, also um, some places will have like a little side quest like this one says key um, that you need a key for it so I know you can find it um, I think this might be the one that you have to find the key at the um, armory in the castle so there's usually some pretty good stuff in it from what I understand here's a short laser musket right here um, I wonder if he has the key on him no he doesn't have the key on him I'm gonna bring you another one to check it out but um, like I said it has its own um, emblem so you can find it on the map uh, it has its own marker so you can find it on the map so here's what it looks like it's pretty cool you know it's pretty cool if you just come across it when you're in your travels you know so give me one second I'll be right back at another one yeah at another one hey and I have no bobby pins on me think you can unlock that so bobby pins have any on you I'm going to um, unlock this though real quick let me just spawn in some bobby pins and we'll and here we are again we're gonna unlock this it's an expert lock so let's see what's inside nice. here fusion cell 25 shipment of cloth shipment of wood three and two I mean, I guess it's not too bad. It's not nothing to to write home about. But, hey, it's still cool to go ahead and find the stuff around the Commonwealth. And the other one, we did find ammo and uh, laser musket and all that stuff there. So, all right, guys, I'll be right back with the next mod. All right, guys, the next mod is called Bunker 13. It is located right outside of Concord and it's a player home you guys know I like doing player homes at least one in every episode it has its own workbench it has weapons stuff or weapons workbench and armor workbench and all that good stuff and you could add whatever you want uh, you could build a little shed out here you could do whatever you want so um, the only thing is it doesn't it's not like a, a regular settlement it's just for uh, you personally so um, I don't I think they might be adding that later on but right now it's just for you personally so inside here it's a nice little shack you know what i mean it's not too tore up or anything like that but when you're ready to see the main part the bunker you go out here to the hollowed out rock you grab the key and right here right when you walk in the left is the bunker door so let's check it out and it's protected by this turret right here and let's go in here and see what's going on So here we are, and um, it's pretty cool. A little cozy place here. We got, um, let me turn this fucking radio off. All right, got your little kitchenette here. We got our living room here. Oh, we got terminal. What's this, keys? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got little storage places here. Hollow tapes, keys, books. Uh, see, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like that. I did see it says customized um, uh, player locations to put your stuff at. And right in this room here, I believe this is going to be a guest room, like a companion's room. Yep, because here's your main room. So you got a nice clean bed. We got a safe. And okay, we got a different case for each kind of ammo. We got. Oh, we can put our energy weapons here, heavy weapons, rifles, shotguns. See, now this is sweet. This is really sweet. We got our armor location right here, clothing, bobbleheads, and this is a dresser. But, oh man, that's that's nice. I like that a lot. So here's the your main room. Alright, you got your magazine racks too right when you walk in. I did not see that. Uh, here's the laundry room. There's a working shower. Oh, yes, and another really, really cool point or thing here. You can turn on the sink and stuff. And, oh, you got your medicine cabinet there. But another really cool feature here is light switches. You can turn on and off the light switches. You see that? I like that a lot. That's that's really cool. So, let's go in here and check out what we got going on here. 
See that? That's sweet. But anyway, all right, we got our junk shelf, and we have a shitload of spots for the power armor. So we got fusion cores, power armor boots, torsos, frames. Yep. So that's pretty cool. You can have a shitload of uh, power armor down here, all different paint jobs and all that good stuff. So um, I have to say this definitely okay. We got our weapons workbench, armor, and our chemistry uh, meth lab. Look at that. You can put your legendary stuff there. And we got another spot for weapons and mods. Sweet. Yeah, I have to say that this definitely is my favorite player home so far to date. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the Eleanor's um, Rock and Red Rocket, and I like her mods in general. She makes a really killer mod, and there's a couple other ones that are really detailed. I like a lot, and this necessarily isn't necessarily the most detailed, but its space is used up very well. Um, I like how they have customizable areas to, to store everything, you know what I mean, from energy weapons, the rifles, shotguns, the, all the different ammo cases, your body armor, clothing, I mean it's perfect, it's perfect in every way, I like it a whole lot, so thanks for checking this mod out, and I think I might have one more for you, alright, thank you. This episode, I couldn't get the last mod to work. You know how that works sometimes. So, um, I'll include it on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad everybody likes this series. And stay tuned because there's...